Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have Lico 695, max area of island. So given a non-empty 2D array grid of zeros and ones, an island is a group of ones that's connect four directionally. So you assume the four edges of the grid are surrounded by water. So find the maximum area of the island uh, in this 2D array and output it. What that means is you will see this is a matrix, this 2D array. Then you can see uh, if it's one, it's a uh, it's an island. So anything surrounded and connected uh, four directionally with this one is the same island. So you see here surrounded uh, by zero and water. So this itself is an island. The area of this island is one because it's only have one area. So now you can take a look at this example right here. There's one connected to this one and this one connected to two ones in here. So this considered a one island, but this one island have four as the area. So now we can take a look at the whole entire matrix. And you see here, starting from here, connect to this whole entire thing right here, that will have the maximum area of the islands in this 2D array. So the one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's maximum area is six. So it returns six. Yeah, and this is, uh, it for this question, um, we can, how do we do it? Um, so now we can um, look through the entire matrix, every integer of this matrix. So when you see one, and then we can start searching the area of this island. So that searching part is a DFS function. So if we see one and then we can make this one become zero. And then after making this zero, we will search the four direction up, down, left, and right to calculate how many uh, surrounding, surrounded by one. So we have one here. So it's one plus the surrounding area. So in this case, you can take a look at this case right here. So now we saw this one. So first we make it to zero. So, so make this area to zero. And then we next we have the area is become one. So one plus the surround area. So now we do the DFS um, function to the bottom one. So equal to one plus the bottom one. So what's the bottom one? So bottom one have one already. So this one have two ones here. So this one plus one, I mean, this all connected to one plus three right here. So one plus three is equal to four. So this is four. So now is one plus down this area have four. So we have five for this current uh, ones. So that's the area um, of this island. So we keep that, uh, keep updating the maximum area of every island. Then eventually we loop through the whole entire matrix and output the maximum area of the island. Then this is the logic of this question. So now we can take a look at the code. So we will self explanate it later. Now we have in max, it started with zero. Eventually, we return the max. So in between, um, let's do the edge cases first. So if the grid equal to no, or grid dot length equal to zero, what do we do? We return zero. We don't have any island. And now we have a for loop, double for loop, i, um, less than grid, 
dot lang i plus plus. So basically, this double for loop will loop through the whole entire matrix. So i is a row, j is equal to zero, and j is less than grid dot lang, which is the column. A plus plus. Now we have double for loop loop through the whole entire thing. So we have a condition. When uh, it's zero, we don't need to care about it. So only when the grid i and j equal to one, then we have to do something. What do we need to do? To so update the max. The mat. So max will equal to either math.max max itself or the DFS grid. The DFS is searching that current island area in J. Um, so this is how you updated the max area. So now it's time to take a look at the DFS a function will return the area fs. So what is, is input is int array of array grid and the current location i and j. So that's enough for this. So there's some edge cases, right? If you see, if this is one, we go to four direction. Mm, if the direction out of bound on the top, left, right, and bottom. So if i less than zero or j less than zero. So this is a two out of bound left and top. So also need to check if i bigger or equal to grid dot length or j bigger or equal to grid zero dot link, which is the column. That's the case that is out of bound. Um, for those case, when out of bound, so we turn zero. There's nothing, no area, right? And another case is when grid i and j, the one that you're searching is zero. For example, if we found one here, we need to search the area around them. So we search this area. So if this is zero, the area of this spot right here is zero. So we return zero for um, this function, DFS function. So searching for this area, the area is zero. Now we have edge case and for this um, special area that we turn zero. Now, after this condition, right? So you know uh, the current grid ij is not zero, which is one. Now you see, in this case, we're searching DFS for the thing bottom right here is have one. So we, what we need to do so we will have in currents equal to one. That means this definitely have one area right here, right? And now next thing we need to do is make grid i j equal to zero. So now we collect this area as one. We immediately make this become zero. So after this zero, and then we we'll look around for direction to see additional area. So curve. So we need to add the additional area for that too, right? So is at equal to DFS the grid i plus one j. plus DFS 
same. Uh, actually, G R I T G R I T right here. So we have the up one. Also have bottom one. Plus D F S. Grid. I is not changed. We move to lap one, which is minus one. And plus DFS grid I J plus one. So actually we can make it like this, maybe looking better. Mm. Yep. Actually I can make it even better. So break it down to every So now you, it's easier to look at it. Sometimes the code read, readability is really important too. So we have, so, so current area is plus the four directional area. So after you have all the area, then we turn the current area. So um, this is it for this DFS um, function. Now we have DFS done. So this map is done, for loop is done, return is done. Let's check. Okay, misspelling right here, G-R-I-T. Same thing here, hold on. 21, definitely. So outbound right here. Interesting. Um, allow me a second, I'll come back reason. Okay, found it. Um, this is a typo right here. The bigger or equal to the lane, then it should be it. Cool. So let's submit it and see. Cool, 99%. I think this is it for this question. Uh, it's really similar to one of the video in this playlist. So uh, if you want to practice more um, DFS solution, please go check this playlist and maybe you have a better practice for this. If you still have a question, please feel free to comment below and I would love to hear your feedback. So that's it. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.